हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर वेबसाइट ऑटोमेशन कम्युनिटी डॉट कॉम एस ऑलवेज सेड वी ऑलवेज कम विथ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स टेट टू इन द थ्री डी सिम्युलेशन मोड सो टूडे इन दिस फैक्ट्री आई वी हैव केम विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल दैट इज पेलेटाइजिंग बॉक्स ओके इफ यू डोंट नो दिस मशीन सो लेट मी शो यू द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस मशीन एस सुन एस we start this machine our purpose is to stack boxes on this pallet it means we will stack three layers and in each layer there will be six boxes so this is the fully automatic machine which stacks the boxes on this pallet and we are going to learn this project today so this is definitely a advanced level project because there are only 15 networks but each networks are very complex and uh, advanced level networks so you definitely need basic understandings and watch this later programming videos two or three times for better understand so first we will see the complete working of this project so you come to know what we want to do in this project so right now you can see two layers of box are already stacked and in each layer there are six boxes uh, i can show you from different angles okay so now last layer is going to be stacked and then we will unload this box remover so this is the last layer in the next cycle i will explain you step by step process what is happening over here from logic point of view now because the boxes are stacks elevator is moving down and we will unload this pallet and we will get new pallet so you can see this is unloading the pallet now i will explain the new pallet is coming this chain conveyor is on you can see and when these two sensors are sensed elevator will move upwards okay besides this simultaneously another process is going over over here that is this sensor counts the number of box when the two boxes are achieved here the pusher is activated and when five, six boxes are achieved over here means the pusher moves for three times uh, it claims and opens the door okay so this is one time pusher first is sense the number of box and uh, by counting the number of pusher movements we will come to know pusher mode three times so there will be six box over here so while all the boxes are stacking over here elevator should remain over here so this is the logic two boxes passes through this sensor pusher will be activated now pusher moved one time pusher should move three time okay again two box came so pusher will be activated now pusher move second time and now when the pusher will move for third time it will claim the box you can see claim and door will open now it will unclaim and door will close and then elevator will come down okay you can see elevator is uh, coming down over here and then uh, we again start this chain conveyor and this roller conveyor so boxes are unload and the new pallet will come and i can stop this process anytime by pressing this stop button so all the outputs and counters timers everything will be resetted so this is the complete project uh, we are going to see its factory io designing and its ladder programming because the video will become lengthier its ladder programming i will show you in the next part of this video so now let us understand what are the items i have used in this factory io designing so first of all i have used you have to go in stations okay let me make the space over here okay now okay so this is palletizer okay so this is how you can get this palletizer box now i am going to explain you working of this machine so i will take okay this is just indicator i will take all the outputs and show you uh, working of each output Okay, and uh, 
this one in the clef one so first uh, when the boxes are come pellet is available or not that is known by these two sensors by this and how the pellet will come to here so this is the pelletizer chain so let me show you like this so when i turn on this chain you can see chain is moving this this is on chain boxes are loaded this side and i want to unload this way only so in my project i am going to use this output only uh, if we use this conveyor will this chain will move uh, in another direction so i am releasing it after the box is loaded uh, what i have to do i have to move elevator up so if i press this output on elevator move one step up but ideally what is the practice if you want to move elevator to the full limit you have to turn on two outputs uh, like this okay, elevator move to limit so it will directly move to here but in my simulation uh, linking with tia portal my some of the outputs are not working properly so in my project i am not going to use this similarly if you want to uh, move when the boxes are stacked ideally how should we move elevator we should move elevator like this but as i am telling you sometimes my outputs and memory bits are malfunctioning with factory io so i am going to use in this way i will turn on and turn off this output and in this way i am going to move elevator up and down because as i said uh, uh, some outputs are not working with my simulation but uh, you can try this uh, for moving elevator up okay uh, you can use this process then turn off this output and now when the one layer of boxes are stacked over here uh, you have to move it one step down then uh, another step down then three step down and then finally fold down so you can try that so this is how we can move elevator this all are digital outputs only now here pelletizer belt so you can see conveyor is moving this direction and we stop this when the boxes are achieved and we will turn on this so it will push when the output is on it is forward output is off it will move backwards when the boxes are over here six boxes we want to clamp it okay so from here that thing you can see like this uh, let me turn off this so you can see clamp and unclamp okay here are the plate after that we want to open plates so that box can go to elevator so this is the full working of this pelletizer machine now what i have done i have put conveyor over here this conveyor and this conveyor so while we put this conveyors okay we have to check its direction means before doing simulation here in the heavy load we have to put conveyor like this you can put it but before doing simulation check the direction of the conveyor like this you have to turn it on now conveyor is moving wrong side so how can i reverse it i can just uh, rotate this conveyor like this and now it's okay so similarly in both conveyor you have to uh, check the direction this it should move like this and this one it should move like uh, here boxes are moving out of this so in this way i got this now this is or you can get from light load conveyors okay in this way and then go in vertical direction by pressing v yeah i need to change the angle by pressing v i can move it like this and these are the blocks i got from here in the wall so this is the box you can copy paste this to make a shape like this so this is how i created this one after that okay let me delete all this this is remover and this is emitter let me ungroup this i have a group date so that i can move each and every object simultaneously now 
uh, properties of this uh, important thing is the timing uh, you have to keep same timing as mine and the part to emit i have palletizing box and base to emit none okay and uh, on the other side here timings are like this because my complete cycle takes 30 seconds to pellet the stack the boxes so i have taken 30 seconds timer and minimum time 29 means between 29 to 30 seconds next box will come so uh, these things are necessary you keep same like me after that i have used two capacitive sensors one over here you can say this one this one for counting the boxes a toe box pass so pusher should move for that purpose okay another counter uh, okay another sensor i have used over here because i was facing two problems first thing my elevator move to limit this function was not uh, working properly sometimes my pusher was not working properly and uh, another times my elevator down means ideally what is the process you move elevator to the full limit then come down one step okay each time you come down one step so that was not working well so i have kept this sensor elevator will come up up to this sensor and then elevator will stop and then elevator will move down when the boxes are stacked so this is uh, for the up limit of elevator up okay after that i use simple this operating panel okay, you can go to operators and uh, this is how by pressing y you can rotate and uh, by pressing v you can move it like this similarly i got this start and stop button okay uh, you can drag and drop like this rotate and you mount on this panel by moving it horizontal and vertical directions turn like this i can mount so in this way i kept start and stop button on my palletizer so i have covered all the things in the configurations that i have used in my this project of palletizer so in the next part of this video i will show you its ladder programming it will be bit heavy to digest but it will be little complex to understand but uh, watch it over three times and you will understand it properly so meet you in the next part of this video where i will be showing its ladder programming if you like this video show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel